Hello, this is Jason from Mobile Monkey. We are looking at how to create, how to add in widgets to your bots. Widgets are what add content into your bots. And in this video, we're going to look how to do a form and talk a little bit about the difference between a form and a quick question. Uh, both of those widgets are used to collect information from the user in a bot session, but they're a little bit different. They have some similarities, but they're a little bit different. They're used for different purposes. So let's start with a form. I think the easiest way to show this is actually just in an example. So again, if I go to the Vermont Custom uh, a page here. This is what it looks like in a chat session. We're looking at different furniture in a uh, in a list type of gallery. And what it's asking is, would I like a quote? And so, yeah, I'd love a quote on getting a piece of, of custom furniture done. So as the user, I click get a quote, and that's going to go into a form. It's asking me some questions. What type of furniture are you interested in? Well, I'd, I'd love a custom table. Great. Uh, what type of wood? Oak pine. Yeah, let's go with, let's go with oak. Let's like make it nice and sturdy. What's your budget? Well, let's see. Let's go for uh, 500 to 1000 bucks. And what's your email? Great, Jason at gmail.com. So what we did there is basically just answer a few questions. It created a lead for me. Got my info. Hey, thanks, Jason. We'll get we'll have a look and get back to you soon. Um, so perfect. The bot actually just asked me some questions, gave me a lead, and it actually... Um, sent that lead information to the to the owner of the business so they can follow up with me. So very cool. So what does that look like on the back end? It's very simply a page that we created here. I made one in a little uh, in a little group called Forms called Get a Quote. It's a form widget that I put in. This is what it looks like when it's filled out. What type of furniture you're interested in? Remember I asked that. I'm putting it into a variable called Type, and I asked Table, uh, Chair, and Desk. Remember that question. The second question I ask is what type of wood? Oak, maple, pine. Then I ask what is your budget? I put some dollar amounts in there. And lastly, said what is your email? And then I just simply put a thank you message. Thanks, Jason. We'll have a look and get back to you soon. I also put into here an email widget, which I'll get into later. But essentially what this does is upon form completion, it sends an email out to the business owner. Um, lets them know that that, um, that that information came in. They should follow up. Um, so very cool. So what does that look like? How do I fill these out? Well, very simple. If I just create, if I just click on form, this would be a new one down here. All I do is I ask a question, right? So again, what is your email? Great, that's a question. I'm going to save that to a variable. Here's all the different variables that I have. Email I've already collected, but and I can put that in there. But if I want to create a new one, if it was a different question, I just type in that and I easily create a variable um, on the fly. And that's a question right there. And now I can add another question in to my form. Again, you do them one at a time. Type of furniture. In this one, I'm going to do a multiple choice. Again, and I'm going to put in my values. oak, pine, maple. Okay, very simple. So that's how we create it. just one question at a time, and it collects it. Now there is on our uh, Mole Monkey forms, there is a little uh, radio button on conversion. Um, conversion is just a way for you as the bot builder to select where you want to, where you want to say that the form is actually complete as a, as a conversion. So you may have a form, you can make a form that's 10 questions long if you want to. Typically on a landing page on a website, you would never do that. You keep them kind of short, but on a bot, you could, you can ask them one question or another. Um, they may they abandon the, the questions at some point, but if somewhere in there you say, hey, as long as I get their email address, that's kind of what I'm really looking for, and I want to say that's a conversion, then I can do that, and what, and then I can actually look at my form submits and look at look at number of conversions I'm getting. I'm basically just saying number of emails that I collect in this in this uh, in this example. I'm not so much interested as interested in the rest of the information. We can get to add to that into a uh, into a later video, but essentially that's how you create a form. In the next video, we're going into how to create a quick question and what some of the differences are in the two. Thanks.